Here we are in our inventory checker China file, and this is supposed to be removing orders from the uh, order backlog China, checking if the item is available in inventory, and then deciding if it should go to the declined or the approved topic. That may take more time to check if something's in the inventory. So what we're going to do here is add in a random amount of time that the potentially it could take to check the inventory. We're just going to use that by making this thread go to sleep here inside of handle message. So I'm going to place that inside of a try catch block. And the type of exception that it's going to catch from the thread uh, sleep is an interrupted exception. So I'm just going to place that in here. And we're not truly going to do anything with that. I'm just going to say e.printStackTrace uh, in case there's an exception. So inside of the try catch, I want to put the thread.sleep and I'm going to create a new random between 0 and 5,000. Uh, that'll be 5,000 milliseconds. So we can simulate that each time this runs, it could take anywhere from between 0 seconds to 5 seconds for this thread to pause here, simulating some work. Let's go ahead and start this up. So I will do the command here inside of the uh, developer training folder again. Let's start up the inventory checker China. And at the same time, I have a second terminal open here. I'm going to start up order producer. Uh, and so I'll grab that command from here as well for order producer. Going back over to inventory checker China, let's see if it's processing anything. There's nothing currently that I have backlogged that it needs to process. So we're just going to have to wait for the order producer to start producing orders. And let's take a look and see when this one starts up. So here it's producing a message to order backlog US. And then the even number ones go to order backlog China. So it's two, four, six, uh, up to eight. And if I go over here, we can see we're at two, four, six. Now we just did eight. Now we did 10, 12. Now there's a pause here. Um, so let's go back over to the order that they're being produced. We're already up to 20, 22. So we're a little bit behind. We're at 18. So we are starting to fall behind more and more. So what we'd like to do is because message ordering truly is not that important for the checking from the inventory, we'd like to set, start up a second consumer that will simultaneously be processing orders as well in addition to this one.